Hello, this is Jeff Beck for Road Trail Run, coming to you from bright and sunny Phoenix, Arizona, and this is the Nike Wild Horse 6. I'm doing a mid-first run impression, kind of a editor-in-chief Sam homage. Uh, right now, just hit the 11-mile mark of what'll be about a 13-mile run, and just want to talk about the shoe so far. Um, I reviewed the 4 and the 5, and this is a pretty big departure from it. And largely, I'm, I'm a fan, you know, there's, it's not quite perfect, but I mean, what shoe is, uh, but everything about this shoe has changed. The outsole is a complete change from the past, the midsole, total change, the upper total change, and in our, our multi-tester review, I'll get really deep into it, but thus far, um, it's, it's definitely a step forward in the midsole and the ride. Um, the, the last two versions felt far more dated than they were um where this brings in react and it's it so far it might be my favorite implementation of react it's a good cushioning it's not soft it's it's plenty firm for trails which is nice um this shoe really reminds me of the kyger 5 but just a little bit extra the, the kyger 5 i really wanted more out of it and you know, it's not for it, not all shoes are for everyone, and that shoe wasn't quite for me. Um, but this shoe very well might be. Uh, the upper, and, and I mean, there, there's definitely some aesthetics that are love it or hate it. Personally, I think it looks better in person than it did in pictures. Um, this is the first time, though, I've looked at a Nike shoe and thought, hey, toy shoe. Um, the uh, this this uh, uh, heel tab not the best. I mean, I'm a big fan of heel tabs and this one's kind of hard to use. There's not much room for your finger to get in there when your foot's there. Um, this integrated gaiter, when I saw pictures of it, I wasn't impressed at all. I thought we were going to have all sorts of fitment issues, but there aren't any. And so much of it is, you can kind of see inside here, they've built up and, and kind of given a more standard treatment right there that goes all the way around that grips the foot really well. Um, the upper, it, it breathes well. The toe box is plenty wide, as you can see. I will say it's not a very tall toe box, and this liner here, this toe bumper, makes me think there's a good chance it's not going to stretch much because of this material's pretty heavy duty. Um, I, I don't know. I, I saw, I've seen people using the Wild Horse 4 and 5 for ultras. I wouldn't, but you know, some people would. I could definitely see more people using this for a, for a 50K. I might consider it for a 50K. We'll see. We'll see as the miles go on if the shoe softens up a bit. I like a little bit softer ride for long days. Um, but there, there aren't any major gripes about this shoe, at least not in the first 10 or 11 miles. Uh, the, the upper is slightly asymmetrical. You see, you kind of have your standard eyelets here and kind of loops here. I'm not sure what the deal is. Uh, my one biggest gripe is this shoe is good for smooth trails. It's good for fairly technical trails. When it gets really technical, I did not have nearly the kind of grip and lockdown that I wanted. Uh, rolled my ankle twice, just minorly, uh, in about a 30 second span. And I, okay, I'm just gonna walk the rest of this section because this shoe, I just, I felt, I felt like I was floating around. I, I even tried retying it after. It didn't help much. I might, before my next technical run, use this second eyelet and try more of a, a runner's loop and see if that helps at all. Um, but I don't know. It wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me if you could just never get that good of a lockdown for this kind of shoe. But all in all, I mean, this is a, I'm, I'm a fan. I, I definitely feel like this is a big step forward for the wild horse. Um, and I'm really curious what everyone else is thinking as well. Uh, we will have a multi-tester review coming out once we get the mileage on it. Um, but just thought I'd go ahead because these came in last night, did a quick photo shoot in the house, and now it's time to get dirty. But I'm actually, I'm shocked the trails are in as good a shape as they are because it's been dumping the last few days. But the ground is, eh, I've encountered some mud, but nothing really sloppy. And I thought it was going to be a, a pretty big mess. So uh, again, I'm Jeff Beck for Road Trail Run. This is the Wild Horse 6 from Nike. It is already out right now. You can find it. And if this colorway doesn't, you know, light a fire under you, I believe there are several different ones coming. I've seen one that's pretty much black and white, and that'll be out in the next couple weeks. But yeah, it's a it's a, so far it's a pretty good shoe, and we'll we'll see 
we'll see what happens once we get another 20, 30, 40 miles and see what the other guys have to say. So have a good one.